Findings available to the Nigerian Upstream Regulatory Commission, NUPRC, clearly shows that there is still a massive gap between Nigeria's actual crude oil capacity and production level. This meeting with domestic crude oil producers and refiners is aimed at looking for ways to shore up the level of domestic crude oil production, as specified in Section 109, Subsection 2 of the Petroleum Industry Act, PIA, all of which is aimed at increasing Nigeria's oil revenue. In compliance with the Petroleum Industry Act, the NUPRC said a good takeoff point is to establish what it calls the rules of engagement that will serve as guidelines for all operators in the industry in line with international best practices. One of the objectives of the Petroleum Industry Act is that this ugly incident be reversed in a way that we should now focus in developing our midstream and with the negative impact in our downstream in a manner that as a, uh, a large producer of crude oil that we develop our oil and gas industry along the entire value chain. The NUPRC is not particularly impressed that the NMPCL currently accounts for 65% of crude oil supplied to local refineries and hopes that today's engagement with producers and refiners alike will mark the beginning of a turning point that will not only drive down costs but also make Nigeria's brand globally competitive with NUPRC providing all the necessary technical backbone. So as a regulator, we've looked at all, put all the complaints on the table, we've looked at it, and we have observed that what is important is that we need as an industry to have what I call rule of engagement that is in line with international best practices. Industry operators, including Chevron, are delighted by the initiative by NUPRC with only a few requests for time to adjust properly to the transition. As we bring new interventions like this to play, we need time. I think one of the things I shared with a few people over the weekend was we're going to need time to go through this transition period. Producers have commercial contracts they've put in place. You cannot stop that. Otherwise, you start breaching international contractor. But also, there's the law of the land. And the law of the land must always take precedence. So how do we get the balance? NUPRC on its part is eager to start enforcing the dictates of the Petroleum Industry Act and has given its implementation committee 48 hours deadline to come up with the guidelines that will suit the purpose for all. Omo Bazwai, Arise News. The Ministry of Petroleum Resources has held a retreat to discuss developments in the oil sector with a focus on revamping the nation's refineries and accelerating gas development. Rita Osakwe reports. As the first quarter of the year draws to a close, ministers, heads of agencies and directors in the oil and gas sector are meeting to take stock of achievements made so far and outline plans for the next three years. It's the first day of a three-day retreat on the targets set by President Bola Tinubu last year. At that retreat, the president warned his cabinet to perform in line with his Renewed Hope agenda, or be sacked. The permanent secretary of the Ministry of Petroleum Resources set the tone, calling for synergy among agencies for a practical change in the oil and gas sector. He outlined key areas including accelerating gas development as ways to reform the sector. In alignment with the presidential priorities, we have developed 16 crucial deliverables aimed at driving progress and sustainable development. These deliverables encompass a wide range of objectives, including optimizing fiscal incentive for investment in both oil and gas, as stipulated in the Petroleum Industry Act, the administration aim is to settle all outstanding liabilities with gas producers and accelerate the completion of critical oil pro projects, 
such as refineries. The Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Oil, said fixing refineries, increasing production, and tackling insecurity and pipeline vandalism will create the best environment for investment. The first target, as you rightly know, is to see how we can ramp up production. If we ramp up production, we'll be able to meet you know, our targets, you know, in terms of increase in revenue, you know, if we ramp up production, we'll be able to meet our targets in our obligations, you know, in the uh, midstream and downstream. Part of the challenge I'm afraid of is whether, even if we finish fixing our refineries, whether we'll be able to get fixed up. It will be very embarrassing that when we finish rehabilitating our refineries in Port Harcourt, in Wari and Kaduna, with Dangote refinery coming on board with Boa, with a couple of modular refineries that I've signed. And let me also say here that I've signed a couple of modular refineries without knowing the math queries behind them. I don't want to know who is the owner of those companies. But I've also warned them that as I didn't know you before I signed your, you know, your license, I don't want to know you before I cancel it. Nigeria holds the largest natural gas reserves on the continent. Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Gas, says Nigeria must prioritize gas infrastructural development to harness its potential. He also highlighted the importance of gas as a bridge between fossil fuels and renewable energy. One of the key elements in our transition towards a more sustainable energy future lies in the strategic utilization of natural gas. As we stand at the crossroad of energy evolution, gas emerges as a vital transition fuel that holds the potential to bridge the gap between traditional fossil fuels and renewable source of energy. Ensuring the widespread penetration of gas nationwide is essential to realizing its full potential as a transition fuel. This entails not only increasing domestic gas production, but also promoting the adoption of gas as a cleaner alternative for power generation. On the first day of this retreat, ministers and heads of agencies are working together towards one goal, to reposition the oil and gas sector for optimal performance in developing Nigeria's economy. Rita Osakwe, Arise News.